Hello. Hi. Thank you so much for talk, talking with me today. <laughs> of course, yeah. Thank you. Um, City on Fire deals with some heavy themes, including loss, grief, and secrets. How did you balance the emotional weight of these topics while also bringing a sense of energy and excitement to your characters and to the story? I mean, I feel like, I feel like amidst all the chaos, amidst all the loss and, and grief, I feel like each character, especially Charles and, and Sam, have this desire and hope for the future and this like supreme sense that things are gonna get better. And especially when, once they find each other, there's so much to fight for and mm. there's so much more at stake because they have each other now and it gives them this sense of hope. So I feel like, you know, there's always that sense on the other side of like a deep sense after something tragic happens, uh, you gotta rebuild and you gotta grow. Yeah. Um, I feel like, you know, there's all types of energy from different emotions. And I feel like in a show where these characters are angry and nervous and upset, like I feel like that energy, you know, which you would think would be very prevalent on set was also um, balanced by the energy of all the actors and, and, the, and the crew and uh, the writers and the directors. And everyone worked so well together that it like kind of helped us all get through like all this like emotional, like, baggage that we all were sit, like sitting through together or working through together and um yeah it never felt that heavy on set yeah because of that thing that fact i think absolutely why um charlie's on a quest to uncover the truth about samantha shooting what do you think drives him to keep searching for the answers yeah um i think there's a lot of things um mainly after the death uh the death of his father he's lost uh, he's wandering, he's a lost soul, and when he finds uh, Sam and she shows him this way, she kind of, to him, becomes this mentor um, and, you know, obviously love interest and someone who he can express all of his love to, he completely, like, wraps his life around her. And so when he loses her, he just doesn't have anywhere else to go. So he needs to find out what happened or else he can't go on. Like, if she can't go on, neither can he, and that's um, his driving motivation. The mystery surrounding Samantha's death and the, the various plot twists make this show such a compelling story to kind of watch. Um, what do you think sets the show apart from other crime dramas and what it makes it worth watching? I think the setting and how specific it is, I feel like weirdly the early 2000s is kind of an untouched period and let alone, you know, this post 9-11 landscape that is so delicate and sensitive. And I think Josh and Stephanie do a really good job at, at you know, treating it and respecting it and um, and just like, yeah, doing it justice and doing that sense of sense of rebuilding and coming together and, and solidarity. Like that, I feel like that is, uh, that's what sets it apart is, you know, all, even though it's like this ripe, like driving engine of suspense and thriller, it's like it has um, really like sweet morals and really, really timely, timely topics that it's that's tackling. Mm 